In this video, we're going to use GeoGebra to construct a perpendicular bisector. So we've got A and B right here. Let's use the circle with center tool. And we want to drag this past the halfway point of the segment. And then essentially copy it with the compass by clicking on C to A. So there we go. Now, once we drag that over to B, those circles will intersect. And if we set up a segment here, can do a line or a segment, but right now I only have it set up for a segment tool and ray tool. Uh, but this segment right here is now perpendicular to AB. And uh, we want to measure the angle. And while we're at it, why don't we confirm that it's also a bisector? So I'll put a point here. And here's my angle tool. So AB to F to D. And there is the angle measure. Now, there is a tool for measuring the length of a segment. I'll put it on here. Um, so if you are using this, you can then click on A and F to see the length of that segment, and then F and B, and see that length. length. And you'll see that no matter where these things are, they're always congruent segments. But I also encourage you to play around with the circles in general. You often might have heard that to create a perpendicular bisector, you have to create a circle that's um, at least more than halfway. You can see that why that is here, because if the circles are too small, they won't cross at all. If they're exactly halfway, they meet at a point. So you can't determine the vertical line from that single point, right? You need at least two points, which is why you have to go just past halfway. You can see that just past, you start to get that ability to draw the actual line, or in this case, segment, that is the perpendicular bisector. All right, thanks.